Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to use the PLC LS model HGB DR64H to create the new program and test with the input and output that uh, input module I uh, connect to the push buttons and for the output part I already connected to the relay control okay totally in this PLC we can use uh, Sixty-four bits for input and sixty-four bits for output. Okay. And in this section, I will use software HG five thousand to uh, create the new program and download to the PLC for test with push button and relay control. Okay. So uh, before go to create the new program. I would like to explain a little bit about how to wiring the PLC terminal. Okay, so uh, the wiring is very important. If we cannot wiring this terminal for a uh, power supply input and output module, we uh, cannot test with the PLC software. Okay, I mean that it. Uh, we cannot test with the programming okay so first we need to know how to uh, wiring the terminal connection first and then we will create the program for test okay because it is the basic so let's go to uh, see how the wiring Okay, here is the PLC HGB HBC DR64H that uh, I already connected the power supply to terminal number 1 and number 2 because it is the 220 volt AC and here is the CB, yes and uh, I already uh, connected the cable from the input yeah it is the input and we need to supply a uh, 24 voltage to terminal 20 and terminal 21 also okay and for input we uh, can connect the 24 voltage to the contact and then connect to the terminal number 3 is the input number 0 okay and for uh, output, we can connect from the terminal number 3 to the relay number 1. And here is the terminal number 3 also to relay number 2. And for uh, natural, we can connect from the terminal number 2 to the coil of relay. Okay, So this is the input side and this is the output side. Okay, so this is just draft about how to wiring the terminal or PLC. So we need to know about this part. Otherwise, we cannot uh, test with the PLC programming. Okay, so uh, next step we will continue to create the new program for test by using the software HG5000. Okay. So let's go. Here is the software HG5000 that I already installed in my PC. So first let's go to open. And then uh, we will create a new project. Yes. Okay, create a new project. And here is the project name that we want to put. Example, uh, test. IO, it means that test input and output. 
and here is the location that we uh, would like to save the file and uh, we need to choose the model of CPU right so in this CPU I will use the HGB right because it is HGB and uh, here is the model number so HGB HBCH yeah this one and then click OK to confirm yes so here is the blank program that we uh, need to create for test okay so uh, let's create right now I already uh, connect the cable to input uh, terminal number uh, 2 of input number 2 yes and number 1 so uh, I will create the button stop for uh, input number 2 and button start for input number 1 okay so for I will create the NC contact for uh, stop example uh, P2 address P2 is stop yes and address P1 is start and then I will use the coin yes this one address P20 yes and I will uh, hold the signal also so I can use one more and all contact this one should be a P20 right because it should hold the output to here and then I will connect like this okay and then we must the check the communication between the PC to the PLC right otherwise we cannot download our program to the PLC so I need to put one more for earn contact yes sorry earn coin so we can write earn this one yes because we need to uh, earn the program when we already uh, put the last output okay so we need to uh, communication between our PC to the PLC right so I will uh, connect the USB part from the PLC to our uh, PC so let me connect and then I will choose the connect to visual machine because right now I use the VMware player for this software so click OK and then we can go to see the driver on the device manager yes let's see here is the driver of PLC LS so we can go to our program and then go to online and then choose connect so right now we already connect USB yes and the status PLC is running so I will uh, download the program to the PLC right so go to online and then go to write and then uh, click OK and it will stop the PLC yes if we choose uh, button yes it will stop so let me show let's see here is uh, PLC is running so if I push yes it will stop the PLC and start download to the PLC right write the program to the PLC and then if I push yes it will start the PLC again yes and then we can uh, go to monitor and then start monitoring yes so it is the stop button and this is the start button so if I push the button yes I will push the button I will push button start let's see the output is turned on and the inside the program is turned on also yes 
So if I put stop, yeah, it will stop, start again, it will start again, and relay control is uh, turn on also, yes. I put stop again, start again, stop again, start again, yes, and stop again, okay. So it's working properly. So actually, we can uh, connect other input. Yes, let me uh, create the program more. So uh, we can offline. Yes, disconnect and then insert the new run. Yeah, the new line. Example, I will uh, connect with the one more output P21. P twenty two. Yes. And I will do this one. And one more we can insert line. Yes. And copy and paste or we can do this one. Yes. So P twenty three. Yes. And then we can uh, connect like this. Okay. And then we can download the program to PLC again. Go to online and then go to connect. And then go to uh, online again and then write. It means that download the program to the PLC again. Okay. And then click OK to run the CPU again. And then go to monitor and then start monitoring. Yes. So right now, uh, if I post the button start, it will start for inputs. Sorry, for outputs, right? So uh, let me test. Let's see uh, if I post start. Yeah, let's see the output is uh, on for outputs. I push stop, push start again. Yes, and uh, we can see the stator is on also inside the program. Okay. So uh, this is just an example about how to uh, create the new program for test and how to winding of PLC uh, HGB module. Okay. So I hope this uh, video just example and uh, guide to everyone about how to winding and how to create the sample program for test. Yes. So thank you very much for watching my video and if everyone have any question please kindly drop comment under my video I will reply soon and I would like to request all of you to like share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new videos that I will create step by step so in this time, I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos. Bye-bye.